Where have you been?
stairs that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. It looks simple, but one false step and challengers will be mired in an exhausting ordeal. Warning. Please refrain from going up the down escalator and vice versa. Thank you. Watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. It's over here. It's in the center of this fenced off area. It's marked with eye catching signs which state in bold print do not enter. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. This is a crafty snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. A stairway that tests one's wits, and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. Human authorities have a great deal to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their plight. Let's continue forth. Our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. This, this fragrant aroma, it can't be. Whoa! 
you can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. Well, there ain't a law against takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. Such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. appreciate the concern, but my curiosity exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Oh, well then, two packages, please. Thanks. Here you go, and come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy outer skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. May seem to still be in place. And in any event, there are many other delicacies I feel I must try. I must take care not to lose my cheeks before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. My first priority is to visit something called a manga cafe and obtain the foodstuff known as a smoothie bar. This smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. Oh my, are you feeling well? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our fourth meal. Still, I'd like to move on to the food group known as Sweet. If you insist, I shall take the opportunity to indulge in more of the takoyaki we had earlier, while you rest. We appear to have exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. I have to thank you for the tasty experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again.
Welcome back. Got one. I'm going into battle. Whatever enemies you encounter. and search the air... All right, I'll... Enemy spotted. Don't worry, I got it.
please try to stay clear of any enemies. Defeat whatever enemies you encounter. There's a shadow here. I'm gonna fight it. Please defeat whatever enemies you encounter. I found an enemy! I'm going into battle! Defeat whatever enemies you encounter. Enemy spotted. You're going down.
Mind if I interrupt? I was just told by the chairman that he'll be stopping by this evening. When you get back, come to the fourth floor meeting room. Oh, um, okay. I'll see you all later. Koro-chan, give me your paw. <gasps> oh, he did it! What a smart dog. Oh, hi, Koro-chan. Go say hi. You can do that, right? <laughs> His name's Koro-maru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. That explains it. Well, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? It was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog sits patiently by the sight of the accident. And he goes for a walk every day, just like when his owner was still alive. Shoot, I have to get going. My son will be back soon. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Wait, isn't the chairman coming today? Then we should go get ready. Yeah. See you later, Korachan. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. This concerns those shadows that have been appearing during full moons. I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. It's like their class or order. Now, I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and it's simply fascinating. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. Is that something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There's 12 in all. Eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Fuka. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question. And that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. It can be considered predation. But is it really? Is there an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole? That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last, so we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. What about Tartarus? Why does it even exist? <sighs>
Thank you. 